Welcome to another episode of Making the Keto. And today, we're going to be making a baked spaghetti, keto baked spaghetti, but we're going to be making it with squash. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're going to start off with a medium sized squash. So this is going to be our pasta substitute. So what we want to do is we're going to poke holes in it and we're going to cook it in the microwave for about five ish minutes, um, depending on your microwave. Mine took approximately five minutes. Um, after five minutes, the squash should be soft and you should be able to stab easily into it. And I'll show you right here. All right, our squash is out of the microwave. Be careful because it will be hot. Um, so this is what you want. You see how my knife was just able to cut through it like that. You want it to be soft, but not too soft. So this is what you're looking for right there, guys. That's what you want. All right, moving on. So we're just going to carefully take a spoon and we're going to scoop out all of the seeds. Now, guys, um, I let this sat for a little while. And when I cut it open, it was still hot. So you might want to be careful. But we're going to be taking all the seeds out. All right, now that we have all the seeds out, we can use a fork and we can scrape the squash into a bowl. And this will be our spaghetti substitute, guys. Now, and also, guys, if you don't want to use the microwave, you can also do the same thing in the oven. You can pop it in the oven for a few minutes, probably about 30 or 40 minutes, and you'll have the same results. Also, guys, check out the texture um, of my squash. Notice that it's not real mushy. You don't want that. You want to cook it enough to where it's soft but not mushy. Um, it would give you the wrong texture if it was. Um, kind of want it to be kind of al dente. All right, guys, so after that, you want to let your squash drain as much as possible. Water is the enemy to this recipe, so you want to drain out as much as you can. All right, and while that's happening, we're going to add some butter to a medium-sized pan. All right, guys, so we're going to start cooking our meat. So I went with half uh, ground beef and half ground pork. Now, guys, you can use whatever meat you want. This is what I use. Um, this this always gives me the perfect taste, the perfect balance of, you know, you get the beef and you get the pork all in the same thing. So even when I make normal spaghetti, this is my uh, what I use. So but you guys can use what you want. So I use 50 50. All right, guys. So in the same part, we're going to make our spaghetti sauce. Um, I know people like to use the rails, but it's too expensive. I'll show you guys a better one. So what I use is the Hunts. I use just the regular tomato sauce. And this costs about $1.79 in the store. And all I do is add my own seasoning. So uh, do not dump the grease out. You want, you want that. Some people like to strain uh, the meats. Don't do that. That's, that's all your flavor, guys. So you want to keep that in and add seasoning. And I will link all the seasoning that I use in the sauce in the description box below. Now guys, this is just the most convenient and the most cost efficient way to make tomato sauce. I really think the ones in the store that are a lower carb are way too expensive. All right, moving on. So guys, as you know, when I get a chance, I like to shred my own cheese because the pre-shredded one does have carbs in it in case you guys didn't know that. So what I do is I normally buy the block. For this recipe, we're gonna use half mozzarella and half cheddar cheese. So you buy a one pound block, cut it in half, and you're gonna do a half a pound of each. And that's how we're gonna rock with it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and put this thing together. So let's go ahead and grab our spaghetti sauce. So we got that. All right, guys, so to me, I don't know what it is, but it's something about the way you build it that makes it taste completely different. I've made this so many times on keto and I've made it in different ways and it tastes different depending on how I make it. So guys, just follow me. We're going to go ahead and coat the bottom with the spaghetti sauce and then we're going to go ahead and put in our cheese, mozzarella, then we're going to go ahead and put in the cheddar. doesn't matter which one goes in first, as long as we got the cheese layer in next. After that, we're going to go ahead and throw in our spaghetti squash. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this until we to, until we get to the top. So um, make sure you, I'm using a deep dish. So make sure you got a deep dish because I like mine deep, but if you like it flatter, I mean, that's completely up to you. But for me, I like it to be deep. But um, anyhow, we're gonna repeat this until we're out of ingredients. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's like that, 
but it depends for me it depends on how i actually put it together in the end it gives it a different texture it gives it a different feel and i, I don't know guys so um yeah just try this out and um let me know in the comment what you think or if you experienced the same thing with uh making a recipe similar to this and just the simplest thing sometimes will make it taste completely different and it's weird to me so um yeah i'll shut up so you guys can watch how i put this together yeah but i just thought that was kind of weird to me guys after we finish the build we want to garnish the top with a little bit of oregano and parsley and guys look at this it's almost as you can almost eat it now i mean i almost don't even want to put it in the oven and let it bake it looks so good but anywho we're going to be baking this in the oven for approximately 15 to 20 minutes at 350 and then at the end we're going to hit it with a broil now guys be careful you don't want to burn the cheese just hit it with a light broil for about five minutes let the cheese get brown and when it was out of the oven, this is what it looked like. that's it for the video if you like the recipe hit the like button if you've been liking the content please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can know when i upload because i upload every weekend y'all know the model here guys we making keto easy by making everything keto thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace